Just eight days ago, they met with the outright MAC title on the line, but thanks in part to a five-run fifth, Coldwater had in St. Henry their only league loss of the season, and the Mercer County rivals had to share the conference title. Separated by just a few miles today, the two teams travel all the way to ONU for the rematch with a trip to the regional tournament hanging in the balance. Redskins haven't won a district since 2011, while the Cavs last advanced to Elida in 2010. Big day over at Wander Field. Postseason atmosphere in full effect. Top first, two outs, bases loaded full of Cavs. Adam Klosterman at the plate. He takes ball four. Drew Otten comes in to score the game's first run. It's one to nothing, Coldwater. Bases still loaded for Aaron Hollemert. Redskins throw behind the runner at first. Klosterman is safe, but Mitch Hine gets caught too far off third. He's in a pickle, tries to make it home, but Brian Hollemert applies the tag, and that ends the inning. Bottom two, still 1-0 Cavs. Jeff Paul at the dish, drives one deep to center. It's over Mitch Shane Hare's head. Paul is on with a leadoff double for the Skins. Next batter is Brian Holloman. He lines it to left. Brandon Kunk coming on, makes a nice sliding catch. Then later, Ryan Mikesell is up with two outs. He hits it sharply, but right at Klosterman at short. Inning over, Coldwater holds on to its 1-0 lead. Top third, Brody Hoyne leading it off with a bunt. Speedster beats it out, as he has done all year. Hoyne on third now with two outs. Mitch Hines singles to left. Hoyne scores two to nothing. Cold water advantage now after the RBI single. Let's go to the bottom third. Grant Mullenkamp strikes out DJ Kunkler. Mullenkamp pitched a gem of a game today. Gets Stout swinging here. And then later in the inning, it's the same fate for Austin Kloon. Cavs still up two nothing after four. Top five now. Man on first for Adam Klosterman. Deep drive to left. It's down and to the wall. Craig Shane Hare comes around to score. He scores all the way from first. Gives the Cavs a 3-0 lead on the RBI double. Same inning. Klosterman on third now. Aaron Hollermitt gets down the bunt. That scores another run. Gives Coldwater a 4-0 lead. Top seven now. Last chance for the Skins. Runners on first and second. Two outs. Mike Sell at the plate. Hits it to center fairly deep. But Shane Hare is there, and that does it. Coldwater defeats its Comac champ, St. Henry, 4-0. Captures the district title, their first since four years ago. Uh, sophomore year, we lost this game, and last year we lost first round. So it was good to come out here today and get a win and advance on to the next round. Since 2010, we haven't got this far. You know, some tough lo losses the last couple of years in the tournament run. You know, but it's just nice to, to only play a very good team, your arch rival, to, to, to uh, have them, you know, here with us to play a battle game. And, and for us to beat them again, you know, twice in eight days is great for our team, our program, and our senior class. Pitching with the leads is always a lot better. I just focus on spotting up. Grant Mullenkamp coming in was one of our aces all year long. Uh, come back from an ACL in football, missed out of experience. We worked him around, got him healthy, and he's right there, a senior competitor, going after it, throwing ball in the zone. We just need to stay focused and just keep practicing, getting better every day. It's just about color of baseball, playing color of baseball. You know, you saw our day, we, we, we threw strikes, we, we battled in the batter's box, we made routine plays. Uh, we just keep playing. You know, if you're going out here to beat us, you're going to have to beat us. And we're going to beat ourselves. Looking at the Elida Regional, Coldwater will take on Fredericktown. That game will be the late game on Thursday afternoon at Ed Sandy Field. In the early contest, Huron faces Mul Mulberry Lake, who beat Archibald today without their top player, Jace Fancina, because the Texas Rangers flew him into the Lone Star State for a pre-draft workout. The championship game will be Friday at 5 p.m.